to Sitting Together. My name is Peter and this is Carrie. Hi. Is it Carrie? Yeah. Carrie. Carrie's Deli we're inside today. <laughs> Tell us where we are. So we're on uh, Park Crescent, um, just up from High Street. Yep. Uh, in the west of Barry. The posh end of Barry, you mean? Well, come on, don't uh, go. Now I first heard about this place as it being the first vegan butchers. Would that be correct? Yeah, that's uh, kind of the name that I, I, I saw that inspired me, yes. shall we say. Um, it's, yeah, everything inside is um, vegan, uh, aka plant-based. Uh, a lot of people get really confused with that. It's pretty much the same thing. Yeah. <laughs> so, well, I'm not vegan, but I am what you call a flexitarian. So I take a few days off a week of eating meat. Yeah. So inspire me some recipes then. Um, well, it depends if you want something sweet or savoury, really. Well, I've got a sweet tooth. Oh, plenty, plenty. <laughs> we've got some ice cream, we've got lots of chocolate, sweets, um, marshmallows. Now, rewind that now. Ice okay. cream. Uh -huh. That's dairy. So, exactly. tell me more. So, we use, um, well, not me personally make it, but uh, people who produce it use uh, plant-based milk. Yeah. Um, Namely from uh, nuts or in some, types, uh, some cases oats, so it's made from plants. Sounds yeah. delicious. <laughs> now, I imagine you are vegan yourself? I'm not 100% vegan. So you're flexitarian as well? Yeah, it shocks yeah. a lot of our customers. They expect me to be 100%. Um, it's really difficult to be 100% yes. uh, at the moment. And that's my point, is that I'm just trying to encourage people to just change one or two days, one or two um, ingredients in a recipe, this yeah. type of thing. You don't have to be a hundred percent. That's not the aim here. Mm. Um, so I don't think being sort of militant about it is going to work with people. No. Especially in Barry. <laughs> <laughs> so what started you on the journey then to having this place? Um, I basically was watching a lot of, um, <laughs> lot of uh, conversations online. Um, especially during lockdown, yeah. uh, where people were suggesting or talking about what maybe the future of Barry would look like and what they would like in the town. So one of the suggestions was an alternative to um, animal produce yeah. and this type of thing. And there didn't seem to be an awful lot of option. Um, people were saying, oh, you could order online, mm. you know. Um, and also people were talking about the high street dying. So I wanted to kind of come up with a solution um, with trying to tick a lot of those boxes, yeah. really. Mm. Mm -hmm. Kay just passed me something. This is the vegan ice cream, Bouja Bouja, keep smiling, vanilla macrilla. Right. Exactly. <laughs> that, that does sound delicious. I know, right? Have you tried it? Personally, not. It flies out. <laughs> yeah, I can imagine. Kay, I'm going to fly back over to you. So you mentioned then sort of reinvigorating the high street yeah. and the idea that people want to not shop online, but come out, feel the goods, touch the goods, see the goods. Exactly. Has that been the feedback you've received since opening? Exactly that. Um, I mean, obviously, COVID affected our behaviour mm. uh, in, in buying. So there was a lot of, uh, do, you, uh, do you have your things on, online? So it almost instantly, uh, I launched uh, everything on, in the shop on my website. Yeah. Um, so people can browse, you know, from home. They can browse in their PJs on their yeah. sofa, you know, any time of day, um, and do like a click and collect. Yes. So it's uh, it's literally a replica. What you see in the shop is literally on the website. Like. But there's nothing better than being here because the feel of this place. Yeah, you, it's you, you, you get no, you, you it's do cute. get that. <laughs> well, what we're looking for is to go back to sort of we mentioned this before with Kegsy over there, the butcher, the baker, the candlestick maker. Mm -hmm. yeah. You know, and that feeling of bringing a basket along exactly. you know, and taking things off exactly. the shelf and, and being a bit more mindful. I think if you've popped a Tesco, mm -hmm. that trolley can be filled way too easily. <laughs> yeah. um, when you come into a smaller store and a row of stores along a street, you can yeah. have that carrier bag and come daily if you wish yeah. and, and change your menu and just feel exactly. a little bit more it's like going thoughtful. It's time a little, isn't it? Mm. Yeah, you think, exactly. Like, you just go out with your basket in the morning and get what you needed just for the day. Yeah, I think a lot as well. Um, I mean, I've read the um, opinions online of the whole you get more out of coming on sh uh, sh shopping on the street as far as like mental health because you're actually yes. talking to mm. the shop owner. 
it's it's a how are you? You can you can just have a yeah. daily interaction. Yeah. This loneliness uh, topic has come up quite recently. Mm. It's nice to do a, a slow down on shopping, and you get something else out of it. Definitely. Do, which people don't necessarily get online, for mm. example. Well, further to that. I if, if I'm looking for things to, to complement my flexitarian diet, mm -hmm. then I don't know what specifically to look for if I'm on Tesco, for example. Yeah, so exactly. you come in here and obviously I can browse the shelf, but I can ask you, you know, exactly. do you have any ideas mm -hmm. and, and where can I go with my menu choices exactly. this week? So, exactly. so that's a positive in terms yeah. of being on the high street. I've actually met Carrie before. Um, we've, we've spoken up via Facebook, haven't we, on yeah. Messenger as well. Yeah. But I saw you in the school fates, didn't yeah, I? Exactly. And I did buy some things, which Peter and I did share, didn't we? We, we had we a, that. we did a review show. We did, did a mother review show. I am we'll really send you the link. Yeah. Yes, I will look. It's, um, and I enjoyed absolutely everything that I got. It was so, so nice. Mm -hmm. And looking around now, there are so many things. I'm not vegan, I'm not vegetarian, but I don't, I'm not the same. What did you say you were? A flexitarian. Flexitarian. I'm not even that, but I don't mm -hmm. mind eating, you know, veg, veggie things in amongst everything else. Yeah. I'm looking around and there's so many things here I want to try. Yes. This has foxed me. Uh-huh. What is kombucha? So kombucha um, is basically a fermented green tea, which is a little strange. Uh, for someone who has never tried it before, um, it's been it's been compared to a cider kind of uh, mm. fizzy kind of uh, no, yeah, but not alcohol unfortunately. <laughs> um, but it's it's basically um, sort of another version of um, actinol. So yeah. it's the the effects that it has on your but tummy. It, yeah, I think I need some of this, <laughs> especially after this morning's it. We'll tell, you, we'll tell you about that. <laughs> I'm, I'm very tempted. So to yeah, try these that. ones. Um, it's a local producer. Oh, it's just um, even better than isn't it? Yeah, you know, I'm trying to keep the, yeah. the local thing going. He's down in um, in Swansea, and yeah, his kombuchas. He's, he's flavoured them, so you have lemon, uh, watermelon, peach. All so this of, uh, fruit is violet. So is yeah. that a violet taste? Yeah, it's like pastel violet. Right, I don't like that. Uh, I'll put that one. Back. Some people do that. Yeah, oh yeah, uh, it's crazy. Oh, 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 right. Watermelon and also red, <gasps> red rose. I can mm. pretend that's rosy. Yeah. <laughs> and also, what am I seeing in here? What are these little packets? Is it cheese or something like? That? Yeah, this is um, mm. cashew cheese. <gasps> so yeah, it's um, basically it's again like it's a nut cheese makes people go, oh, I don't like no, nuts. No, no, but it, uh, you don't taste the nuts. It doesn't oh. taste of nuts. I might try some of that as well, actually. So yeah, these ones are lovely. They're ground up uh, cashew nuts with different flavorings. You get garlic mm. and herb, um, horseradish. Do I see cranberry as well? Yeah, there's the a cranberry one. You're gonna look more further into this fridge. In a minute, so. <laughs> Oh, thank you. I was, oh, there's these as well. There's teas, yeah? Yeah, local tea. Yeah, so that one there's like um, it's chai. Chai, yeah. Which I'm really into at the moment, chai. Mm -hmm. I like chai. They, yeah, these all are green, green, green grass. That's got to be wow. lunch. <laughs> really lovely. There's well, a local um, coffee, coffee supplier These are the there. coffees? Yeah. Oh, Barry. it's the Barry Island ones. Yeah. <laughs> oh, look at that. Can you see that? <laughs> I wouldn't smell it. Or, or it was pretend. <laughs> <laughs> Costa Rica coffee, single and orange. Yeah, so they, he, he gives them to me both ground and bean. So you can, if you have a grinder at home, you can uh, yeah, do yeah. your own. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's brilliant. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> okay, so as I was wandering around, there's so many little bits and bobs I've always wanted to try. Or brands I've seen present on social media mm -hmm. but I haven't strolled past them mm -hmm. in a supermarket so that's lovely to see them for real um, and as I was wondering I noticed some Bloody Mary ketchup how oh, exciting does that sound <laughs> um, my husband's a chef and there's lots of little bits you know I'd like to for him to try to yeah. add in um, and I noticed this bespoke hampers yeah. how perfect in the run up to Christmas I know what a fantastic gift option everybody you know can use something from yeah you know, sweeties 
tea. Yeah, I'm Mary Fletcher. I can't let that go. <laughs> <laughs> what a fab idea! So those are from ten pounds. Yeah, and, and in fact, any budget at yeah. all. Um, just tell me if you want something sweet or savoury, or if you wanted maybe tinned items. Okay. I've got a lot of tinned items, or if you want. Yeah, a sweet one, or do you want a frozen one? Oh. It depends. That's why I say for spoke, because you can choose what you want to gift, or yes. maybe you want to gift yourself. Well, that's <laughs> I mean, you can leave it to me, but uh, you never know what you want to yeah. get. It's nice to have that surprise though, isn't it? You know, because you know the flavours, you know mm -hmm. what works together. So you exactly. could you could put that together and just recommend, you know, what staples go with. Exactly. And then, you know, you're like a um, what are those boxes called? Uh like the mystery, fresh or yeah, something like that, mystery, you know. Yeah, yeah exciting. Mm -hmm. Um when are you open? What how can when can people come here? Um at the moment my open hours are uh, open days are Tuesday until Sunday. Okay. Uh, just closed on the Monday. Um, at the moment, I am open uh, Tuesday uh, and Wednesday, ten until two. Um, later on the Thursday evening, so um, for evening, yeah. people who are working in the office, you can pop by. Um, open obviously on the weekend. I love the idea of Sunday opening. Sunday is the best time because you get most of the street is not open, so there's a lot of parking. That's good. So yeah. That's the bonus on the Sunday. I think you're in a great location here. You know, in terms of, I've seen you post about people coming past mm -hmm. and on their way down to our tourist areas, mm -hmm. they can pick up some snacks. Exactly. I think that's a great idea. Exactly. Yeah. So it's, yeah. yeah I, I try to encourage people to either yeah you know, try and get a spot on the um, on the main street, but you can park on the side streets yes. as well. So just got the up and down. <laughs> yeah, it's like a snake effect, yes, you know, it's yeah. uh, parking up and then parking down, so yeah. Fantastic, well thank you so much. You're welcome. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So one thing I noticed about your store, Carrie, is that it has a particular Welsh flavour. Now I know it's not easy, it's easy to open up a shop in terms mm -hmm. of getting a list and ticking what you want, but you've gone out of your way here to specifically put in things that come from Welsh suppliers. As Tell as us more about that. Yeah, as much as possible. Uh, I try to, yeah, source local to reduce the carbon footprint, etc, yeah. etc. Cetera, et cetera. Um, so yeah, basically I've got a yeah, number of um, suppliers like cheese suppliers, um, tea suppliers, chutney, there's lots of them. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and of course, it, you know, Welsh product does have an international stage because there's a lot of awards awarded to Welsh food and Welsh produce. So you're amongst that then in terms of your networking and, and where you get involved and the people you talk to. Is that an exciting world to be involved with? It is, it is. And I too, actually, yeah, I always spot the, the ones that have got the Great Taste Award as yes, well. Yes, yeah. And as everyone's like, oh, I want to try that. So yeah, a, a, quite a few of my projects have got the Great Taste Awards. So Fantastic, yeah. yeah. So remind us once again where we are and how people can come and visit you. Yeah, so I'm in the west end of Barry um, on Park Crescent. Um, and yeah, it's uh, number 23. <laughs> <laughs> so there we go, number 23, you know where to get to. Um, we had a fantastic time here at Carrie's Deli. Thank you for having us in. You're welcome. I know Kay wants to make some purchases now, she has a full basket. <laughs> Until next time, my name is Peter, her name is Kay. What's your name? Gemma. And your name is? Carrie. Until next time, see you soon. Bye bye. bye.
-hmm. You know I love the hamper idea. Uh -huh. So no budget, but okay. luxury Christmas hamper, a mm -hmm. gift. Okay. Off you go. Right. Okay. Well, uh Oh, that sounds gorgeous. 